Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Dark Arc issue number nine. All right, we get to see Shrey using a few powers. We get to see the kind of resolution between him and uh, it's a pre-resolution between him and that big Atreides thing, beast. Yeah, the mother of all monsters, and uh, we get to see a big surprise. We start off with uh, well, actually, we have to start off with the way we always start off. And that is Cullen Bunn is the creator and writer. Uh, Juan Doe is the artist. Ryan Hill is the letterer. And John J. Hill is the logo designer. Uh, Juan Doe also does the cover. So we start off with that uh, the one girl. I don't know if they actually say her name or not, but there's this one girl who a whole bunch of people are trying to get on the dark arc. All right. They worked on the ship. They're supposed to their their payment for working on the ship was that they get passage on the ship. So when the flood comes, they'll be OK. But the um, the mother and her son are walking up with a whole bunch of people behind them. And Shrey's like, you guys aren't welcome. Wait, what? No, you guys aren't welcome. This is no place for a kid. She's like, no, we worked on the ship. You promised. He says, I don't know what to tell you. But this place is not for you guys. And this is not a punishment. This is a mercy. So you should go now. And she's like, fine, take me. She says, he's, uh, Shrey's like, uh, you would abandon your son? Yeah. Not really, realistically, no. You're the one who's abandoning him. You know what I'm saying? You won't take him on the ship. You're the one doing that. But I want uh, safe passage on the ship. The little kid's like, Mama? And they start, like, pulling the kid away, and she doesn't even turn around to look. And Shrey just looks at her and says, You definitely belong amongst us. Wow. Well, when she goes in and she sees the shackles and the chains, and she suddenly realizes, she says, Wait, no, I want to be with my son. No. No. No, your kid's right where he belongs, and you are right where you belong. Wow. Cullen Bunn just went dark. I'm talking there are monsters demons vampires ancient gods predating the uh you know, the excuse me the current biblical gods i mean dude all sorts of crazy stuff all over the place and this right here this is that ultra dark <laughs> you know what i'm saying this is that dark on top of dark wrapped in a, a black blanket in a dark room with her eyes closed that's effing dark <laughs> yo Yo, <laughs> so like everything else in this book, I don't even care. That right there was like, okay, cool. The whole series can end right there. That that just went really, really bad place. So the art in this dude, just amazing. Uh, the monster, can't remember the name. I can't even pronounce the name when, I, when I'm reading it. But the, the mother of all monsters, that's just a gorgeous picture, man. Like she's just freaky, terrifying. And Shinda, Eshinda. Uh, eshi dna that one so um yeah man like she just gets like listen i'm not gonna you know you, you try to bargain with me do you know who i am you're an idiot i'm not gonna eat you because i know that your sorcerer's blood is poisonous but i'm gonna let you drown down here Boom, just like dunk some way under the water so the devil satan <laughs> is like oh yeah man Trey, don't be stupid go ahead and summon the the don't don't try and swim to the air Bring the air down to you. So it's like, oh, yeah, duh. So he summons the air and is able to make him uh, swim really fast and he can breathe. And he's seeing this underwater city. It looks like it's just one of the drowned cities, you know? Basically, just all sorts of crazy stuff like that. Meanwhile, Shinda goes over to um, the Dark Ark and sees her children again. And they're like, oh, mommy. Yeah, and it's really, really freaking weird. As, as long as I don't see any breasts, you know, feeding that, because that would just be way too weird for the monsters. No, that would. That, no, no, please don't. But um, <laughs> in the meantime, Shrey is trying to uncover a different kind of darkness to to take back the monsters. They they have a place they have to be, and he does have to save them. But he's also this is what's interesting. He says something to. It's hard to say what everyone's interpretation of Satan is. Many times with Lucifer, it's the idea that pride is his biggest weakness. But in, in in so many ways, it's not the same kind of pride that we would have. You know what I'm saying? So likening ours with theirs is, is different. With his is different. So there's the one part where he says, 
uh, Ashinda is more powerful than me, more powerful than you. And I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, Satan's going to strike you down. But then again, I'm thinking to myself, well, then again, Bun hasn't really showed this version of Lucifer to be that prideful. So maybe he's just more like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, is or not, or oh ye of little faith, you know? I don't know where this is going to go, man, but I'm telling you, we, we could keep on seeing a couple more powers that Shrey's got. He's cool, but he doesn't believe that he could beat Ashinda. Then again, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, yeah, as, as, as much as I'm okay without having that much action, I, I kind of need to see some action. Issue 10, man, issue 10 is coming out next month. Can we get a booty kicking? That's all I'm asking for. Just one booty kicking. All right. I want to see Shrey take down a Shinda or something or something. All right, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.